Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day, Aussie72 here. Today guys, I just wanted to make a video going over the current state that Modern Warfare 2 is in currently after the first couple of days of release, because at the moment they've kind of been catching more shit than a friggin' McDonald's restroom, and that is because the game has literally been released 50% complete. That is the only way to put it. We have gotten 50% of the full game and it is and it's a kind of massive kick in the balls But we're gonna go over that and kind of discuss everything that is missing and all the issues are with the game Because a lot of bugs and a lot of crashes to go over I know they had fixed some of those with the party issues But we, we will talk about that anyway If you are new around here Could you please subscribe and like the video it greatly helps the channel out now? Let's jump into this go I'm um, the first thing I'm gonna go over is a lot of the bugs crashes and like just general issues people have had with the game since its release and that's never a good thing, especially with issues like this. The main one that they have fixed, they have kind of addressed this. I'm not sure how well they've addressed it. I've yet to actually check out the uh, party system. But the party system, when you would party up with people, it, it was it was woeful. I, people would play games, it would always crash. I experienced that with myself. Me and my partner were trying to play, it would always crash. To the point where it basically bricked our PlayStation 4. Yeah, it literally crashed it to that point where it, it was trying to reset and it just got stuck in a loop So if anybody else is dealing with that that is just insane That is kind of very detrimental to the hardware inside of your console Even PC people crashing on PCs and stuff like that. It's very detrimental to your hardware as well So they have kind of addressed that but there still is a few crashes and bugs that people are experiencing on console PC um, Xbox seems to be okay-ish. I still freeze up and get stuttering when I'm trying to go through some of the menu why the games are loading. Um, so I, I think a bit of a word of the wise I've seen on Reddit. Apparently if you just let your, your game find a match and you don't do anything, you just sit there like, a, you know, hands off the keyboard, hands off the controller, don't touch anything. Apparently it's okay. Apparently you won't you're not overloading the, the the game's system or something and making it crash by trying to like do your weapon go through your blueprints and customize weapons and stuff like that so apparently if you just leave it alone it uh it does not cr not crash but again this shouldn't be a thing it should not be a thing at launch same with the party issues this should not be a thing at launch this game has been in the making for three years apparently so why the hell does it's a multiplayer game why does the party system not work in a multiplayer game i don't understand i really don't understand it but it, the list goes on we're going to go over everything that they have just not added in to call of duty on release day and it's things that we are just so known to seeing at the release of call of duty because they've always been there now the first one that's really just greased people up the wrong way is there's no hardcore mode why Hardcore mode has literally been in Call of Duty since 2007. I googled it to make sure because I was like, I'm pretty sure every Call of Duty I remembered playing, there has been a hardcore game mode. Why it isn't in here in release, I do not know. Some people could argue they, you know, they want to drop it as a free patch, for like a free game mode patch or something. But they've now stated that it's not coming out until season one starts with Warzone and everything. So kind of doesn't even fit in with like a marketing strategy so I, so maybe there's just some big issue or some massive issue with the hardcore game mode but even then you've had three years to work on this so many people play hardcore and even if you're not someone that's a die hard hardcore like game mode like fan you got to appreciate that hardcore is really good for doing those camo grinds with all the weapons that just suck in the normal multiplayer modes like rpgs are just really annoying to try and get killed with it's easier in hardcore mode riot shields uh snipers marksman rifles any of that kind of stuff it's just so much easier in hardcore so you don't have to deal with stupid hit marker bs and and again it's really good for the camo grind leveling up your weapons you can get high kill games because everyone just dies really easily now these two kind of go hand in hand but there's no leaderboards for any of like the the top performing players and there's no stats for any of your weapons like in modern warfare 2019 you if you were you really like using the m4 or the ak it would show that you've used the m4 and the ak a lot and this is your kd with the m4 and the ak and this is how many times you've used it how many kills you've got how many headshots all that kind of stuff we don't have that which is i mean it, it's a it's really like nitpicking but again it's a stuff that we've always had on release of most call of duty titles and then another thing it, it again is a bit nitpicking it doesn't really need to be there but it's such a nice it's such a nice feature to have because it gives you something to work towards and that is the barracks and the challenges that they would have so like you know you'd complete your operator challenges you'd get a blueprint a calling card and you would have this massive screen and it would be like 
more challenges that you would do and you'd get little badges and everything and that goes on to the next point there's no medals or anything as well inside of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 at the moment and also there's no ability to save your blueprint so if you're you spend all this time weapon tuning putting all your attachments on and then somehow you accidentally click your weapon or something like that like you could you can't save it as a custom you just lost all that progress so that's really frustrating another thing that's super frustrating too is there's no camo unlock notifications that pop up so i've gotten gold and you, you i love when the gold thing pops up on the screen and it's just like a sense of accomplishment it plays the soundtrack like the the metal music and stuff and it's just it's such a exhilarating moment when you unlock a mastery camo it's not there you just unlock it you don't even know you just go back into the gunsmith and you look and you've got it you're like oh Cool, I, I got gold. Like, it is so anticlimactic. There's also no ability to turn off crossplay. I actually didn't know this until I saw this on Reddit and looked for myself. I couldn't believe it that there's no option to turn off crossplay. So, all of those are catering to casuals. It, they're clearly not doing that because they're just smashing everybody into PC lobbies. I mean, you, you're not automatically good just being on a PC, but being on keyboard and mouse, you do have more control over your movement and aim. So, I feel like you already have an unfair advantage to people that are trying to learn on console and stuff like that so having no ability to turn off crossplay is a massive slap in the face of those people also there's no xp token countdown so if you want to use a double xp and you got 30 minutes well you i hope you've got a stopwatch sir or an egg timer because you need to time that stuff yourself because they have not put it in the game i couldn't believe it when i used a double xp token i was like bruh i i i can't see it how how long do i have left i don't know i might as well just quickly play a couple of games and use it, I suppose. And I feel like the big nail in the coffin is there's no reticle customization. Um, I, again, I didn't feel, I didn't know how much I actually loved the reticle customization until they took it away. <laughs> like, I, I'm not a fan of just the, the default red one that they give you. Some of the other ones in there are much better. Like, green and blues and stuff are much better for your eyes than red. Red blends in with a lot of the background. So green and blue and sometimes people like purple and pink, they really stand out from the backgrounds and having that reticle customization, it's just another feature for more optimization that people want inside of Call of Duty. But overall, just the game itself and the new seven maps that they added in, plus with all the new, plus all the new ground war maps that they added in, the maps and the gameplay are fantastic. It's just that they've apparently shaved the game down and not told anybody about it. Like, the hardcore thing was in a blog post that it was going to be coming as Tier 1, and yada yada yada, and then when the game released, they changed their blog post to now say that it was coming with Season 1. So that's just going to grease people up the wrong way. Like, why? Why Why lie? Just be like, hey guys, hardcore mode isn't going to be available for release. People might have a hard time swallowing that pill, but at least you're honest. People are like, okay, Fair enough, at least we know it's coming in three weeks time, I'll buy the game then, you know? Like, whatever, you've kind of just robbed people now. So yeah, C Call of Duty definitely needs an update sooner than later, for sure. Like, at least to put some of the content back in the game that we expect to be in the game. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about all the things that are missing, plus all the issues, the party crashes, just general crashes across the board. It's It's been kind of a woeful release day and a couple of days afterwards as well because they haven't really addressed anything yet <laughs> appreciate all love and support guys and until next time stay safe peace out